Not really anything else that's critical. The pickaxe was pretty much the only critical item. Well, hi there, dead zombie. Big book of first aid. <laughs> no, I can't be full. All right, we'll come back up and we'll do some nighttime. Ah, I forgot about you. Do some nighttime looting. I'm going to constantly run into that guy. Because <laughs> he's not smart enough to follow me down. All right, get rid of the sheets. Get rid of all of this. that behind temporarily. Oops, let's get something to drink. Have, uh, let's have an energy cola. And one of these nasty protein bars. Minus five joy, minus nine quench. Uh, big book first aid, that's going to help. Not worried about any of that stuff. Don't care, don't care. Take a pot and a gallon jug. Zombies! Oh yeah, it's the uh, the sound of the turrets is drawing them, which is pretty bad. That's that's not a good thing. Oh, I didn't bring the crowbar. Damn it! How did I manage to drop that? Hey, the fencing jacket. So I just recently started seeing these fencing. We had fencing pants before, I think. 100% coverage, 6-6 six, six protection for only 5 encumbrance and 25 warmth. Or so in arms. I like it. I'm taking it. Put that on. That's good stuff. Now, shouldn't golf clubs have a reach attack? <laughs> it's not a spear. But come on, the <laughs> thing's like, what, four feet long, five feet long? How, how long are golf clubs? Seems like it should have a reach attack. <laughs> Basketball. Take apart for a No, that's rubber, not leather. Oh, it is leather. Hmm. 
Let's just say no to that for now. Alright, so nothing too impressive here, unfortunately. Got a chocolate bar from a poor unfortunate child that died crawling through a window. Alright, so we've checked that, checked that, checked that, and I think fairly well checked that. Or did I just run through there? Remember coming in? I just ran through there to avoid, so I haven't really actually looted that one yet. Guess we should go check that now, drop off what we found so far. Sprinkles. I want to know what's in the box behind the shelf. Come here, pipe. Checking this room. Leather tilt. All right, we're going to call this one searched as well. Phone with battery, some almonds, laptop. There's a lot of tries to get through that. through that glass again, why don't you? <laughs> I make my own mess. Take some cough syrup and I was hoping for a towel actually. Hmm, unitard. A lot of zombies die and crawling through windows lately. Alright, I think we'll hit this house and that's all I'm going to do over here for the moment. Although I'm tempted to make a run for make a run for that hunting store, since we're seemingly able to move around fairly well right now. Damn, look at all these dead zombies in the windows. <laughs> I don't remember this many. Did they up the damage that they take when they crawl through the glass? <coughs> I mean, I, I see them on occasion, but it seems like an awful lot of <laughs> dead zombies. I need to start using tactical window uh, combat. Whew. So much leather. 
Um, we're gonna start. I can't disassemble anything. All right, wear it all. <laughs> Death by over encumbrance. Dead zombies. That seems weird. I don't remember reading of anything. Any? I mean, there's three dead ones right here. I don't. I don't remember reading of any kind of change that would account for that. But um, something had to change. All right, I think we're done. <clears throat> At least with this northern section. So it doesn't seem like there's too many zombies in this northern area anymore. Just can't, or the southern area, I guess. North of my little lab area. No reason to go back down to the garage that I remember. I'm sure there's probably some wandering around here that I've missed, but um What the hell? That would be a new one. <laughs> Apparently the key to, to, to clearing a city is just run around and tap on all the windows and just break all the glass. <laughs> then just um, just lead the zombies through the houses, through the windows. That'll be the new, uh, the new meta strategy. Alright, I've been picking up all this random leather gear. Not because I have a leather fetish, but uh, because we're going to... We're going to destroy it for leather components for making like a hiking backpack. So I'm, I'm stockpiling leather early is, is what's going on there. Alright, is it time to go take on a barracks? I think it might be time to go take on a barracks. Really, really want to answer the question of do I get a a rifle? It'll fire two two three five five six. That uh, that changes the power dynamics quite drastically if we if we can manage that. So leave these behind as well. Gotta take the gun and ammo. Gotta take the pickaxe. Hey, we didn't lose my map memory. Cool. <laughs> right, let's do the southern one first. It's closer. Hmm. Speed 104. I'm only getting a slight slowdown. That's right. I'm wearing multiple layers of clothes. I got a divest. Let's dump. First, spare hoodie. The union suit. No carry capacity, but that's not critical at the moment. So, jacket and hoodie still doubled up. But that's most of my available volume that I can carry. Oh, crap. And a leather jacket. Yeah, I guess I, I was wearing kind of a ridiculous amount. <clears throat> I, can, I can understand those temperature problems. Whoops, I think I yeah, lowered my inventory enough that I can't carry stuff. Alright, we'll keep the purse for the moment. <laughs> Try this again. Demonstrate, hopefully, the proper way to deal with a uh, barracks. Because none of you have ever seen me clear a barracks before. This, this will be a first time experience for all of you guys. Okay, I have no computer skill. We're just gonna we're just gonna whack this computer terminal. Hopefully, they didn't put uh, gorilla glass on it. All right, computer terminal's dead. 
I'll explain what the process is here because I know we do have some people watching that <laughs> don't know the process or don't know what's going on. This is the barracks. It's one of a few different kind of endpoints you can find on each level of a, uh, a lab. We got a barracks here, a barracks here, and we've got a prisoner containment facility up here. This I'm going to ignore. The only thing it has is a small chance of a couple of scientist zombies, a uh, shelf with some medical items, and some rare times a room here will have an item that might be useful. But that's about it. Low chance of anything I really care about or that's critical. The two barracks though, on the other side of the barracks inside is an armory where we have a really high chance of getting some high-end weaponry and ammo and some other gear. So penetrating this is a little tricky. There's a few things you gotta be really careful of. First and always when you're in labs, control your light Light is how you get killed quite often. Light is uh, is not good for you most of the time. So I killed the computer because I have no computer skill. I am not going to be able to hack that computer, so it's of no use to me. And it was emitting light into this area. So I killed the computer specifically to remove any light. Next up, we got noise. So we're going to listen to the noise by just waiting for a bit. So we're hearing footsteps. Footsteps tells me that there are zombies inside, not grenade-chucking robots, which is the other option. And how you handle things is a little different depending on which one you get. Just by listening, standing in place and listening for a bit, you get the message and you can tell what you're going to encounter. Most likely it's soldier zombies, could be bio-operators at this stage. I do have the world settings at such a thing that I might get a Hulk or a Kevlar Hulk out of here. That'll be fun. Luckily, though, we know where a slime pit is right here. So if I do get a Hulk popping out of this door, I'm just going to walk the Hulk right into the slime pit, and then uh, we'll just deal with a uh, blob instead of a Hulk. So know your, your retreat path, control your light, make sure you've got, uh, got your options set up uh, beforehand. Now I'm going to pickaxe my way through that section door right there. Not the wall, the door. If you try to go through the wall, you end up uh, with rebar you got to go through and a big mess and it's time consuming and it's a pain in the ass. So generally you just want to go through the metal doors. So we're going to activate our pickaxe, which I don't have with me somehow. <laughs> How do I not have my pickaxe? God dang it. Uh, what happened? <laughs> what did I do? I know I, I moved it from this spot. Hey, pickaxe. What, what you doing, man? <laughs> Did I have my inventory set to shift it instead of uh, moving it in my own inventory? Alright. Um, yeah, right here. So, make sure you're full stamina. Activate pickaxe. Ignore the footsteps. I'm hoping for regular soldiers at this point. Bio operators I can't do much with. Alright, so nothing is showing up yet. If the room is lit, which is somewhat bad, depending, but given that we we have uh, footsteps, there shouldn't be any grenade chucking robots still alive. So I'm going to move to run mode for a sec. Uh, I don't have my gun out, which is a mistake. I should have gotten my gun out after I uh, killed the... All right, two regular soldiers so far. Got the shotgun out and ready to go. All right, before I go any closer, we're gonna reload. I only got six rounds, so I gotta be careful. What do we got? We got an MRE, ooh, maple sausage. Nothing else, really. Sunglasses, jackets, yep, nothing I care about. There's several important reasons to get in here. We got lockers that we're going to get a bunch of clean soldier clothing out of. And um, we can take the Kevlar boots, or the, the boots apart for Kevlar and leather. Uh, martial arts manuals, just all sorts of reasons to, uh, to go in here. The other one, also nothing I care about. So we'll pop those up. We're reloaded. Close the door. <clears throat> Get my stamina back. Now I'm going to flip my light on. Uh, 
And I think we might have cleared them. Nothing in that locker. Guns and ammo. So, elbow pads. Clean combat boots. A holster. Clean watch. Poor fit, everything else. I don't much care about all that. We're going to wear the elbow pads. If you're not aware, always wear your elbow pads and your knee pads when you come across them. Why, Vorm? Do I want to do that? Well, if you look at them, they look bad, if you understand what you're looking at at first. Coverage of 30% sounds like a bad deal. Why would you only wear something that's only going to protect you 30% of the time? But this number here is the important one. <laughs> so, basically, you're getting 8-8 protection 30% of the time for no cost. It's free. I mean, it weighs a tiny, tiny amount. But, yeah, it, it's free. So, 30% of the time, I'm going to get... 8 protection bash, 8 protection cut on my arms. So wear them. <laughs> it's important. So, got the elbow pads. Hopefully we get some knee pads while we're in here too. Army helmets. We're gonna well, I can't wear it with the what do I have on my head? Just the um I got the hard hat. Alright, let's ditch the hard hat. Go with the army helmet. And what else? I'm not going to wear the poor fit stuff. We're probably going to come across some better fitting stuff. I'm going to ditch the fancy, filthy watch. Go ahead and take the clean one. And we'll toss the holster on. And we'll take guns and it. More elbow pads. Fitted combat boots. So, age-old question. Again, the jacket and the pants are don't don't fit. I'm not gonna worry about those. There's pants that fit and a rucksack. Score. All right. Take those, take that, leave everything else. So, an M17, unfortunately, is a 9mm handgun. Not what I'm really looking for. Grab it because we don't have a lot of other options right now. And unfortunately, that's pretty much it. Alright, so that's the armory section, or the uh, the barracks. Now we've got the main armory. There's a computer for access. It's one of the hardest computers in the game to hack. Even at max computer skill and super high intelligence, you're going to fail this one fairly often. So we're not going to even bother. We're going to hack our way in with a pickaxe and hope that there are either no lights or no turret. <laughs> one or the other. Right after, we sit here and wait and listen. Not hearing anything. Still might be somebody standing on the back wall that's not making noise yet. But there's a possibility of a turret right in the section right here, directly across from the doors. And it varies in its distance. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's police our light. Let's get rid of that. So what you don't want is to have a light source you step into while you have a turret live in here and then you instantly get shot. So, yeah, we're, we're really hoping there's no light in that room. <laughs> or no turret. One or the other. Pickaxe the door. Hope for the best. Ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> we got light. Do we have a turret? Damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, bastard! Rivtech grenade launcher and two shotguns. That's hilarious. <laughs> and another M17. Well, that all sucks. Um, let's see. Why did there have to be light in this room? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. 
Shall we apply the cheese? That is the question. <laughs> How stinky do we want to make the cheese? First, let's verify we can get out without getting shot. <laughs> it says we're in the very dark. I've been shot so many times while I'm supposedly perfectly safe in the very dark. All right, we'll we'll be able to get out of here. I think we're okay. the The light is not penetrating far enough into the room. I think we'll be able to shoot it and get rid of it. So we won't have to get too stinky with the cheese. So the light must be buried back in the corners somewhere, since it's not propagating at all into the room. All right, so let's test this. We he's got line of sight there. He hasn't started targeting me yet because he hasn't spotted me. So if I go to run mode, I step, refresh my movement points, step there. He's not aware of me. Yeah, we're okay. We, we can get this guy easy. Oh, right there he can see me because I stepped next to the computer. So that computer is providing enough ambient light for him to be able to see me. That's the kind of thing that I was talking about. So, step back out of there. <laughs> I'm not 100%. I've actually got a direct line of sight on him from here. I'm, I'm, I'm worried my shot is going to hit the door, but we'll only waste one shot to find out. So, now the problem is if I don't kill it, he's got a chance of blind firing back at me. We've got a 100% chance to hit, so, I mean, it it, it should die. <laughs> uh, with 54 damage, it doesn't have anywhere near that much armor or hit points. Even with no AP, it shouldn't be able to absorb even remotely that much. So as long as we don't miss entirely, or, well, I don't think on a miss it even does anything. I think you actually have to hit it. So a graze that doesn't kill it is pretty much our only problem. There are other options. I, I can cheese this thing. <laughs> I'm just loath to do so. Oh yeah. They changed the rules on dragging furniture around. Used to be you had to there were there were set minimum strengths. You had to have like eight strength to move a bookcase and nine strength to move this other thing and so on. Now it it'll move it just takes longer. Sometimes it won't move at all and you just have to keep tugging until it eventually moves, depending on the disparity between your strength and the object. I think at certain really low levels it may be immovable, but um, for most regular characters between like 6 and 12 strength, I don't think there's too often you can't move it. Oh no, I don't need to... They're, they're, well, yeah, surrounding with lockers is one possibility. <laughs> That's not the cheese method I was talking about, though. Um... Do we have a stinky cheese? We we do have stinky cheese. I have I have not yet been able to shoot a light out. I've tried several times and I have not been able to actually shoot a light out. Supposedly that was added, but I have not been able to do it. So, we supposedly have a 100% chance to hit. With no graze possibility. The graze is pretty much the only thing that might get me shot. I'm just going to take a shot. If we, if we fail on 100% <laughs> and I get killed, I get killed. Let's try it. Alright, like I said, plenty of damage. There's no way the turret was going to stand up to that, that shotgun blast. So we got off kind of easy. But uh, don't mess with turrets. If you're not aware, they change turrets so that they can return fire if you shoot the turret with a gun or a bow. They can return fire blindly, but uh, how accurate it is, they're going to burst fire in your area or your direction. And I got hit pretty often in some minor testing I did, but they do not respond to throwing. So... 
one way I could cheese it would be just to go away for a short bit, level my throwing skill up by just tossing uh, things at a, a target on the wall, and then throwing pipes at it. <laughs> pipes, steel, uh, steel lumps, and um, I could do that from here. I could peek throw and uh, throw around the corner, and I could destroy the turret that way. But... Um, there's lots of ways to cheese it. The other way somebody mentioned in chat is uh, one of the ones I was talking about, which is I could go up here, grab me a cardboard box or two, bring them back, and uh, I could set a cardboard box here. Then from this position, I step into it, which makes me disappear. Then I can activate and deploy another cardboard box here, step into it. Then I could move this cardboard box to here. Well, I wouldn't want to move adjacent, but I mean, I could, I could move close. Then you can either stab it from range or shoot it or whatever you're going to do. <coughs> well, there's, there's lots of options. But we don't have to. Let's go see what we got. Please be something other than damn shotguns. Nope. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Ah, it's a submachine gun. That's unfortunate. There's the list. So the Rivtech grenade launcher, the Rivtech submachine gun, two more, two more uh, shotguns, hopefully with ammo. Of course, the belt of five five sixes, which I was hoping to get a rifle that fired that, then I would not have a problem anymore with ammo. And uh, some nine mil, some rockets I'll never fire, seven six two, and an MRE. So yeah, not not too impressive, unfortunately. I'm not going to bother picking up 9 mil. I'm not going to pick up rockets. 5 out of 7 in the 870. Uh, U, oops. U versus U. What am I looking at here? Mossberg 500's got better in every round, every category except for one less in one less uh, ammo. Well, I'm not going to take Nah. We will, though, unload it. Oops. Barrett magazine. I'll grab that. Those. Good old nine mil pistol. God, I don't want a nine mil pistol. Once again, the Mossberg 500, but significantly less capacity. Only six instead of nine. How close is it otherwise? Pretty substantially slower to reach aim level. Yeah, that's... So the benefits are the nine shots versus six, and then it's got a sights mount and a bottom mount, but I think I'm going to stick with the Mossberg 500 for now still. No ammo in the Riptech submachine gun. Two grenade launchers. <coughs> what kind of grenades that thing fire? And <laughs> a 40 by 46 millimeter. All right, shut up, you. Let's grab that one and one other belt for now. All right, and there you go. That is uh, clearing a barracks. Release your light. Make sure you control all the light at all times or know what the dangers are. And uh, pickaxe the door with uh, making sure you've got your gun ready to go, your full stamina, and all that. Depending on if I had a grenade chucking robot in here, things might have gone a little differently. But um, that, that's pretty standard clear with a, 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 a turret we had to deal with. Like I said, we got pretty lucky with the light placement. The lights were placed way off to the sides, so none of the light was penetrating up into the room. Had a light been, like, back here with the turret a little further back, 
and the light shining through so no matter where I stood I couldn't get a bead on them without being lit up that would have been a big problem or a bigger problem we would have had to apply some some pretty stinky cheese to uh, to get rid of it all right um, I don't think I left behind anything I care about for now So that was the uh, the close lab, or the close barracks. Got one more on this floor. All right, army pants versus the leather pants. We're gonna switch that. I didn't actually grab the uh, the nine mil. That's fine. All right. Holster the nine mil and have some water. Where are army pants? So we've got a rucksack now. Not doing any melee fighting, obviously, so <clears throat> I don't care what my torso encumbrance is. Torso encumbrance isn't going to affect our firing the guns. Well, the full belt of ammo is nice if I've got a gun to fire it with <laughs> after I take all the ammo out of the belt, but uh, currently we don't have one. I don't have a, a rifle that will fire two two three or five five six. That's what I was hoping to get in one of the two barracks here on the top floor. It'll speed things along quite nicely if we can manage it. All right, don't need the purse anymore. I don't need the hoodie anymore. Hopefully we'll pick up a fitted army jacket. Go with our Kevlar vest. I think we're, we're all set again. All right, we got a few more shotgun rounds to replace what we used. And we need to go north. Say hi to the nurse on our way through. Can you disassemble the turret? Uh, yeah, you can. If you haven't destroyed it, if you haven't blown it up. Uh, this one's a little trickier because we got, it's a flooded one. So this flood is going to be in the whole place. Sewage is going to slow my movement down quite a bit. So let's first listen. Huge explosion. Yeah, stop waiting from the north and above. <laughs> Somebody blew up my house. Um, hmm. I didn't go any further north than the, uh, the, the local houses here, so... Maybe there was a turret or a roadblock up here that blew? And or there's a chicken walker uh, tank drone site up here? I'm not sure what else would have triggered a, a huge explosion. Alright, so we got some footsteps again. Hopefully that'll just be a uh, soldier or two. So we need to get rid of the the light from the computer. So yeah, I'm going to be slowed down trying to back up because I'm in the sewage here. 312. That's not good. That's really not good. As soon as I finish picking, something could step into the space. And by the time I move here, theoretically they could move there and hit me before I'd be able to move again. Yeah, a trapped house could be. Could be a survivor house with a landmine going off. Or a zombie wandered onto the toilet landmine. <laughs> so another option I would have in this circumstance, since I don't like the sewage that I have to move through here, is I could uh, go through the wall here. 
There's a little hallway here, and then there's the wall right here where there's the doors that go into the individual rooms. I could even go into the individual room here and then work my way out. But I'd have to go through the wall, then I'd have to go through the rebar. And I'm not really set up to go through the rebar. Low strength character without any big bash weapons and no hacksaw. I'd rather not. But I'm, I'm really kind of worried about just random soldiers stepping, hitting my leg, and breaking my leg. <laughs> While I'm stuck in the sewage. Um, so do I chance it? Oh, that's right. This was the containment room. Yeah, you're correct. I don't care about this one. I, I meant to go over to that one. Thanks for pointing it out. I got too focused on talking about other things. Forgot which one I was supposed to go to. Well, that's good. I didn't like the sewage area. I <laughs> didn't want to deal with that one. That would be a turret. I need to go down and around that one. That's also a turret. Uh, I gotta go way around. Um, or I gotta deal with the turret. No light, let's just deal with the turret. <coughs> so there's Mr. Turret. He is five spaces away from there where I'm standing currently. He's also lit up by the computer, which makes this especially easy. So... Step over, he cannot see me. The Mossberg out. Fire, we still got a 100% hit chance. So, standard hit, 60 damage is still more than enough. More ammo. <laughs> I have no computer skill to hack this to get a map of the area, which would have been nice, but um, make a note. Throw it down. Computer needs hacking. All right, so now that that's done. There were, there were guys in this room. Ignore that for now. All right, so I've got a couple of slime pits behind me, <clears throat> behind me if we get a Hulk. And we've got one in this room here. Just the single one. That's all I need if there's a Hulk in here. And uh, dissectors won't work against soldier zombies, so the dissectors aren't going to help me. So we got, what, two slime pits in case a, a Hulk gets let loose? Um, reload. Wield. Listen. Nothing. So, doesn't mean there's nothing in there, but I'm not hearing anything, and I just made a fair amount of noise. So, get the rifle and the shotgun back out. Yeah. Pickaxe. Now we can stop. So, somebody heard us and broke out of their, their bedroom to come mess with us. Alright, is that one soldier, two soldiers? I can't tell with the noise indicator. Um, run mode, back off. Two so far. Reload. Nothing useful. <clears throat> And also nothing useful. That's unfortunate. It's hoping to get some lucky random gear out of them. All right, let's go ahead and go back to the headlamp. So that's where one of them broke out of. Heard us uh, banging on the door there with our pickaxe. Nothing. Nothing. Bit of jacket. Whoops. Wrong item. <clears throat> More elbow pads. I need knee pads. 
Oh, I should be taking these boots too. Take augmentative tech. Hey, look at that. Jane's rocket launchers. Tech loves. Oh yeah, that uh, that government issue fur bikini top is is shown up again. <laughs> Yeah, I reloaded. <clears throat> well, I'm not too impressed with the rest of what's going on. Fitted gloves. Tack vest. And fitted army pants and jacket again. We'll grab those so we have spares. We'll ditch the um, not fitted gloves I picked up. All right, my um, I got leather gloves currently. Compare tack gloves and leather gloves. Tack gloves, much better protection, hundred percent. Oh yeah, definitely going with the tack gloves. All right, we'll keep the leather, so we'll take them apart. We won't get much leather out of them, but um. Wear the tack gloves, wear the tack vest. Are you hiding in the bathroom? <laughs> Your body strains under the weight. Uh, that's right, 58 pounds. Bad back with seven strength. Oh, Zizix. You bad person, you. So, the challenge that I'm playing right now is brought to you uh, courtesy of Zizix. <laughs> uh, he was, I don't know, are you still around, Zizix? He was around earlier. Uh, it was submitted via my Discord channel. I have a uh, suggestions section on my Discord where uh, you folks can submit challenge suggestions. And uh, that's what we're doing here. We are playing this challenge per Zizix request. All right, any noise on the interior? Yep. So that's good in one way, because if there's a zombie in here, anything other than a security zombie should be getting shot by any turret that's in there. So I'm happy to see some, some steps. It could be that there's a turret and a security zombie. That, that would be bad. So let's do this before. Let's police our, our light sources here. So we got no light bleeding in from there. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna remember to get rid of this light source as well, just in case. Another option is to go through this door here. All right, which is a pretty good idea sometimes because if the turret's in line here, it can make for some awkward angles and lighting situations. Uh, getting back out again, <laughs> depending on where the light and the turret line up. I I don't know if I hate artifacts. I'm ambivalent to their existence. <laughs> I just choose not to use them. Did you find the clairvoyant one? The clairvoyant? That seems to be the one that gets most people excited. Being able to see through walls. The one I, I usually find is the um, the meteor strike one where I activate it and it um, it drops a meteor on my travel vehicle and explodes my, my vehicle and kills me. Yeah, that, that would be the particular reason why I don't mess with artifacts. <laughs> Activate. Challenge is over. Alright, so we do have somebody in there. Let's, um... <clears throat> let's divest ourselves of some weight. Before we head on in here. Nope, gotta keep that. I don't want to be overweight in case I have to run for it. Alright, um, I think we're all set. Get our shotgun back out. Pickaxe. Barracks number two. Standard tough zombie, so definitely not a turret in there. Plus there's no light, so... Oh, three of them. Alright. 
these might stay. These might take two shots each, or not. Self-esteem for dummies, spray can, and a whole bunch of nothing. No batteries. Don't care. Also don't care. Alright. Oh, there's a light. But there's no uh no turret, so. Alright, what do we got? I'm still not I got one long gun in here. That's it. And that looks like a shotgun again. <laughs> what is it with you, game? Stop giving me the damn shotguns. Ugh. Block 9mm, M17 9mm pistols, and yet another shotgun. <laughs> they never use shotguns. Alright, well, um, I guess we'll grab some 9mm ammo for the pistol they're forcing me to lug around. So this one's uh, this one might cause a change because eight rounds versus six, and only a minor change in uh, the dispersion factor and damage. So the two extra rounds I think is worth the trade-off here. So we're going to switch to the uh, M1014 shotgun. Go with Benelli instead of a Mossberg. So, let's unload the Mossberg this time. Wield that one. Hey, look at that. Some caseless ammo. Scar H magazine. That's that's a good question. Which would I rather have than these two? Oops. M17. Nine mil JHP, all I've got's FMJ, huh? Let's go ahead and get this swapped out. All right, reload with that one. Alright, so that's the spare in the attack vest, put that in the holster. There we go. A lot of bouncing around, but we switched shotguns. I've got uh, <coughs> M17 in the holster, and we've got a, the attack vest with a spare magazine. <laughs> Not that I'll ever use it, or maybe I'll use it to kill some uh, low-level zombies with no no armor. That's about it. That's about all I would use it for. Uh, blow 9 mil ammo just to raise my handgun skill. Other than that, I think we're good there. Other, other multiple Barrett mags. Hey, more 8x40 caseless. Alright, so we got 80 rounds of caseless. I actually might go back and get that RivTech shot or RivTech submachine gun. Did I pick it up earlier? I <laughs> can't remember. Can't remember if I picked it up. Hopefully I did. And poor fit. No thanks. Alright, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. 
Let's just uh, wear this stuff out. Ah, there you go. Two barracks done. Super easy. Take care of that turret or go around. Take care of this turret. Again, it's not lit, so should be an easy kill. <laughs> 